Let's talk about use context hook, which is useful for almost all big React project. And it helped me a lot when I started my full stack developer job. So what is use context? Use context hook is used to manage global data in React application like global state, theme, services, user settings, etc. Let's understand why we need use context hook. So here is a situation. Imagine you create an application with this type of component structure. So main component is app and then it has four child components and child components have also some child component. So it's like a hierarchy of components. Now imagine we have user details in this app component and we need user details in this single post. If we use props for sharing that details, we have to first pass in main component then pass in feed, then following post, and then we get user details in single post component. So it's very annoying and hard to maintain. So use context will help us to create global data for our React application. And we don't have to pass that data through all these components. We can access that data in all component we needed. Now let's see how to create context. So to create context in React, requires three simple steps. First, creating the context. Second, providing the context. And third, consuming the context. So let's start with step number one, creating the context. So we are creating the global state for user logging. So import create context function from React library. This function is used to create context. Now right before your functional component, create context and store that in variable called login context. You can take whatever you want to. Now for step number two, which is providing the context. So after creating the context, we need to define in which components we want to access this context. So again, in that hierarchy, if we want to pass data to single post component, we just need to provide the data to main component and that can be accessible in all their child components. So in our example, we want to access that data into main component and it has child component single post. So write login context dot provider and add that component between this context provider. Whatever component you pass between this provider, it and its child component can access this context value. Now we can pass value by using value attribute. So write value equals to in curly brackets, I simply pass true here. Now let's see how to access this variable inside our single post component. So open that component in which you want to use that variable. So to use login context variable, we need to use use context hook. So import use context hook from react library. And inside this functional component, write use context and it accept one argument which is that login context. So we need to import that login context from our app component. So let's first export that from app component and then import login context from app component. Now pass this login context inside the use context hook and we store this value in variable called login. So let's console it, save the changes and take a look. See? we get true. So whatever value you pass in this context provider, we can access that value by using use context hook. If you understand these three steps, congratulations, you understand the use context hook. Let's quick recap what we learned. Use context is used to manage global data in React. So we don't need to pass that data through props from first parent component to last child component. If you want to pass data just for child component, then you can use props. Don't use context everywhere. Just use it when you need it. Now to use use context, you need to just follow three steps. First, create the context using create context and give name to that context like we did login context. Now second, you need to decide which components can access this context with the use of context.provider and pass other components between this provider tag and in value attribute pass value inside curly brackets and last step 
you need to import that context from your file and pass that context inside use context hook and store it in variable simple as that now you see our app component looks a little bit ugly but it's a simple one context imagine if we have five or six contacts then you just don't like to code in that project and if you are working for company they also don't like unorganized code so let's make organized structure for creating contacts so first of all i create one new folder in source folder called contacts we create all contacts here in this folder now create a new file in that folder called login contacts provider.js and in this file we save our all login contacts logic so first i create emmet by using rafce and now i just copy this create contacts from app component and paste it here now in return we have to set provider so add login contacts dot provider and inside that provider we have to pass all children so write in props children and pass the children inside provider now give a value attribute in provider and i want to pass state value for this context so i create user details and pass default value true you can pass any type of data and pass that state variable in value now back to our app component and import that login context provider and replace provider with login context provider because we pass children inside that provider and remove unnecessary things from this component now last and final step change this context path from app to our context slash login context provider and that's it we organize that ugly code into organized code and yeah take care of your body posture and your eyes because i just have problem in body posture by sitting too long in front of desktop so take care and have a good day